What's up troopers, my name is Neon and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 best weapons in Battlefield 2042 Season 2. I appreciate all the Season 2 love troopers, you guys have been absolutely amazing, you've been crushing the content so thank you very much. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel you really should because we've been doing a lot of content for Season 2, guide videos and so much more and I don't want you guys to miss out. Subscribe to the channel and if you enjoyed this and this video helps you then leave a like as well. And if there's a weapon I haven't mentioned please let me know it in the comment section. The first weapon we are starting off with is the Savar. The reason why the Savar is number one is because, let's be real, it is the number one meta right now for this game. So the class setup I use for this weapon, I use this dot sight right here, just a classic dot sight, and then this is my secondary sight. I kind of like this, it helps me out with my recoil control, and then these are the magazine counts. So standard issue is the first one I use. Reason why is because you've got the recoil control, reload speed, and the rate of fire. And then you've got this one here that increases that rate of course that extra magazine count what goes up to 41 rounds and then you have this high powered round right here what deals very good damage then i use just a classic nail launcher it's really a personal preference whatever you really want to use but i feel like just using something like this is really nice and then this is what I use right here. I'm all about the recoil control. So you're going to see a pattern with the top five weapons in this video. But the recoil control is what I go for. And then I usually use the weapon accuracy. But this is really just the main thing what I use. I'm telling you troopers, the Savar you're going to absolutely love. And another weapon what you're just going to also really love is the PBX 45. The SMG meta. That's what I really call it. I use this weapon right at the start and it just never disappointed me. And even to this day, the PBX 45. 45 is just as good. The class setup I use for the PBX is very similar to most weapons as I said before. I use the dot sight and then I actually go with this one here the 2.5x. Then the magazine counts I go for is the close quartered combat. Then I do the standard issue extended mags and then after that I do the standard issue. Then when it comes to grip I use the LWG grip. The reason why I use grips like this all the time is because I can't stand still. I have to do accuracy while moving. And then of course we go for the recoil control and I actually whack a surprise on this one yes it doesn't really actually keep you off the minimap it doesn't only from like long range but when it comes to a flank or something it's really good to just counter that noise but if you don't want to go quiet and you just want to go in there and go absolutely crazy and just dominate then the k30 is probably the weapon for you a weapon like the k30 is just so aggressive nitty and gritty in situations and i just love it this weapon has just been absolutely dominated all the time they constantly try to nerf this weapon but they just can't do anything about it this weapon has just been good overall even how many times they nerfed it so the setup i use for this one is the dark sight and then i use the tv2x i really like using that on this gun and then it comes to the magazine counts i use the standard issue drum mag then the standard issue extended mag and then the high powered extended and that's also nice because it gives you that extra five percent of damage then once again we use the lwg grip and then the recoil control and of course if you really do want to start flanking you definitely can use the suppressor if you want to and my next weapon, what is going back into the assault class, but I still feel like a weapon like this is not really assault rifle. This really packs like an SMG, and that is the AM40. I really like this weapon. It does take a bit more bullets, and I do believe a weapon like this does need to get buffed, but overall, it's just a really nice, fun AR to use. This is the class setup I use for the AM40. I use the dot sight. Then we go with the standard issue drum mag. Then I do the high powered extended, and then we use this one here. And then we, of course, use the LWG grip. And then we come to the back to that recoil control and then suppressor. And a weapon I've actually been having fun with is this weapon right here. Wow, what a weapon, man. 200 bullets, absolutely crazy. It can do up to 750 rate of fire. Just an overall fun weapon to use. And the thing is as well, it really doesn't even feel like an LMG that much, except the 200 rounds. Because when I use this weapon, I can control the recoil pretty well. So I use this dot sight right here. Here, and then I go for this one right there. Then we use the magazines. We go the standard issue extended. Then the high powered rounds. And then the standard issue. Then we go back to the LWG grip. And I've actually been messing about with this one. I've just been kind of working around with it. Because it's an LMG. is a weapon where you want to kind of perform in a good medium to long range gunfight. It can work out really well for close court combat. But I try to work on this weapon more to the medium range long range. But my accuracy is more important than anything else. So yes. 
yes, I can go with the recoil control and I can control the recoil pretty well. As you guys can see, look how much I lose of accuracy. So I've been using this one. So on controller, you just need to kind of hold it down a little bit to control that recoil. So it really isn't a difficult thing. And I've just kind of realized that when I've been using this type of muzzle, I just feel like I've been doing really well with this one right here. It helps me so much more better with my accuracy and recoil works out just as great. And there we go troopers, that is the top 5 best weapons in Battlefield 2042 Season 2. This has been a really big video because I know you guys have been expecting this video to come out and it's finally here. So get your hands on these weapons and these class setups and get in that battlefield and dominate. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, be a part of Pink Wigami. And I'll see you troopers in the next video. Peace.